What's going on, Mother Flowers? This is going to be a video about don't fucking give up. I don't know who needs to hear this. All right. I really don't. But I very strongly suspect that more than one of you out there probably needs to hear this message of motivation. All right. Because I know that I sure as shit sometimes, especially these days, need to motivate myself a little bit. Motivation is a huge part of being a warrior. Self motivation is a big part of being a warrior. But you know what? Iron sharpens iron. We all need somebody to slap us across the face more metaphorically speaking sometimes and tell us you don't fucking give up man put one foot in front of the other and keep fucking going because warriors don't quit warriors don't stop warriors keep going until they either die or accomplish the gosh damn objective right all right it's all fine and dandy to sit around and pound your chest and say oh, i'm gonna just keep going until i accomplish my check <coughs> great all right perfect but when it comes down to it, when you're halfway through your mission, <laughs> sometimes it can get a little lonely. Sometimes it can get a little bit daunting. Sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming. And sometimes your mind starts playing tricks on you. So that's when you need somebody, colleague, a comrade, you know, whatever you want to call it, to come up to you and say, don't be a fucking pussy. All right. Keep going and keep pushing on. And if life is your objective, life is your mission, which it should be, realizing that there's another YouTube channel. I tried to get him on here for the tactical podcast, but he works with uh, the State Department. Life is a special operation. That dude, well, nice guy. He has the perfect title name for his channel, right? Life is a special operation. If you think about it, it really is. What are you, bitch made? Don't give up. I'm going to give you a couple of examples that I think will be fitting for what we do here on Gutter Fighting Secrets. So the first example I want to give you is an ambush, right? And guys, I've got a little bit of training in small unit tactics. So don't all jump on me at once if I mess up some of this term terminology. I'm nowhere near on the level that, you know, a lot of you guys out there who have served in special forces and stuff like that definitely are. But I'm going to show you this little picture that I drew. I think it's called a linear ambush, right? So linear ambush, they're all lined up in a line. They're shooting at us. They've got their overlapping sectors of fire, right? Here's us. What happens if we try to run away? Back and run away, right? Well, we all get fucking shot, right? What happens if we run this way? Well, they're going to shift fire and probably still shoot us, right? What happens if we run this way? Well, again, they'll shift fire and they'll probably shoot us right we're in the kill zone we don't want to be in there what's the only way probably one of the only ways that we can get out of this kill zone and some of us will survive assault through the ambush oh it's so simple yeah i mean again i'm no genius here and i'm certainly no expert in small unit tactics but from everything that i've been taught one of the best ways that you can fucking deal with the ambush like this is assault through it okay and go towards it right pretty counterintuitive not something a lot of people would uh want to do rush towards an ambush and uh, a bunch of your buddies get shot right but that's kind of what the doctrine tends to be is assault through the ambush now hold on a second here let's make this even more interesting maybe this is not a linear ambush maybe this is an l-shaped ambush it makes our life hard right it looks like an l here's the line of, of troops up here here's the line of troops down here these are all bad guys so what happens <laughs> if we go this way well again we're gonna get shot from these guys what happens if we go this way these guys are gonna shoot us what happens if we go this way well these guys can only shift their fire so much right they can't shoot their own guys so it's probably safest to go this way or this way right because again nobody wants to shoot their own guys so my point with saying all that and again there's a lot of you guys out there who know way more about that stuff than me i'm a very much an amateur in it but my point in bringing that up is when there's some shit coming your way a lot of the times the only way out of it is through it <clears throat> so whatever the fuck you're dealing with right now and i don't know you and i don't know what you're dealing with but i know we're all dealing with a lot and i know we're all probably dealing with something generally speaking these days so the only way and the best way generally speaking to deal with whatever it is that you are going through whatever your issue is or should i say whatever your objective is um that you want to hit 
if something comes up in your way and ambushes you, well, you have to assault through it. I'm sorry to say, right? And sometimes, you know, like, let's just say that this isn't even, can you see it? Not even an uh, L-shaped ambush. It's just a linear ambush. Sometimes the way to assault through it is around it, right? So we might not want to go straight towards it. Maybe we want to go more and flank around it, right? And again, once we get to this side, there these these troops are going to have to shift formation, and they might, but at the same point, that takes time. So my point being that sometimes you do need to slightly skirt around your problem, but attack it, all right? And that's what I'm trying to say there. Now, another example that I will give is like a survival situation, right? Like, Lord forbid, you're out in the middle of the wilderness somewhere and you get lost or you get stuck out there. Well, what are you going to do? Sit down and wait for help? Well, what if you don't got a radio? What if you don't have uh, any way of no, no one knows you're out there, right? What are you going to do? You're just going to like sit there and wait to die? No, absolutely not. What are you going to do? You're going to sit there and build a fucking teepee? Well, you're in the middle of the wilderness. No one's like looking for you. No one's coming. You're just going to hope that like in a year, somebody happens to hike through. No, you're going to figure out, get oriented and get moving, right? And they teach you in survival that it's really a more about the will to survive, right? Even if you don't have a lot of survival training, but if you simply have the will to survive, the will to live, the will to get back home, well, you have a way better shot of somebody who doesn't. So, you know, you will figure out a way, you will literally figure out a way to survive or perish. And part of that equals movement, right? Movement is life. I'm sure you've heard that a lot uh, if you've ever been in the military, but again, in martial arts, same thing movement is life do we ever just if someone's hitting us do we just stay there and take it generally it would be better to angle off and try to get you know, get away from those punches or what assault through right same principle so you never want to just stay where you are you want to keep moving forwards keep moving forwards and have that will to survive or that will to complete your objective and if somebody comes in your way or something comes in your way attack it assault through it and move forward all right. Like movement is life. Remember that that's metaphorical as well as literal. Now, another survival or another um, example I want to give you, if I can find my notes, is uh, like a ruck march, right? Like, I don't know how many of you guys have been on a ruck march, but we do force ruck march sometimes at uh, One Shepherd, and they can kind of suck, you know, a little bit, a little bit into it. Um, you keep going. <laughs> You don't want to be that motherfucker that falls out. I can't take it. I can't take it. Like it's pride, right? So, you know, in that case where it's a training situation, you certainly don't want to be that guy that can't take it. You want to be one of the boys or girls who is able to keep up with the rest, right? So that's a matter of, matter of principle and pride. But my point with saying that is, all right, like even if your feet are killing you, your fucking back hurts, like the fucking pack is so heavy, what do you do? You put one foot in front of the other, and you keep going. Eventually, <laughs> you're going to make it to a rally point. You're going to be able to rest for five minutes or whatever. Eventually, maybe you'll do a seals, uh, sills hole, right? Stop, look, and listen. And you're going to have time to, like, kind of take a knee and catch your breath. And then what do you do? You pick back up and you keep going. Does it suck? Yes. Does anybody like it? No. You'd have to be fucking crazy to really like it. But some people do. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, we'll get into that. I really want you to be aware that, yeah, sometimes moving towards your objective just fucking sucks. A lot of the time, moving towards your objective just sucks. And there's no way around it. But you know what? You deal with it. You live for the moments that you can take those little breaks, whether it's a five-minute sills hole or you get to your rally point, you're able to, you know, circle up and whatever, hold security for a little while. Well, the TL does a leader's recall, whatever it is, right? And after that little rest, you take your little break and you keep moving forward until you reach your objective, whatever that objective may be, all right? Maybe once you reach your objective, you're fucking tired, but you assault through it. And you take that objective, and then afterwards, there's a celebration. There's a victory. You feel good. You did something good. You survived through it. Oh, my gosh. Like, that's so cool. You, you look at your boys, and you're like, did you see how we fucked those guys up? Yeah, it was awesome, right? That type of thing. 
Um, but maybe in a real world situation, you fucking, you know, you, you, you kill a bunch of bad guys and thank God I survived. Whoa. Like adrenaline rush. Right. So my point is after you <laughs> suffer through the ruck march, right. Let's just keep using this example. After you suffer through the ruck march, you hit your objective. Well, what's next? Hopefully, hopefully, you know, you'll have a little bit of a rest. Maybe you'll go, you'll go back to your fob or maybe you'll, you know, go back to your patrol base or whatever, and you'll take a rest, celebrate a little bit. Maybe you do it again, maybe you don't, whatever. But you hit your objective, you celebrate afterwards. Not until then, but you celebrate after you've completed your mission. And sometimes when you've completed your mission, there's a damn good cause to celebrate, and it's a lot of fun, right? Like, let's just use another example here altogether. Let's say that you run a business. I was talking with a dude at the bar tonight and uh, he was, you know, saying, oh, my fucking business, my concrete business just isn't doing well, man. And I'm like, well, you know, we are in the middle of a technical recession here, this and that. And we were talking a little bit and he was saying, you know, look, I know I went to business school. I know that like a lot of businesses fail. I said, yeah, but okay, your business fails. Like, are you going to start a new business? Oh, I don't know this and that. I said, you're never going to fucking make it if you're too afraid that your business will fail to ever like pick back up and keep moving. If you don't pick back up and keep moving, you're, you're, you're not going to see victory. You're not going to taste victory. Like have you guys ever sparred, right? Let's say jujitsu, Muay Thai, MMA, Jikundo, whatever, right? Whatever type of sparring you do, physical sparring, you ever get knocking down or taken down? What do you do? You get back up. Or do you stay on the ground like a bitch and let him kick you? No, you get back up and you keep fighting, especially if it's the only <laughs> if it's the only choice you have. Like if you're on the street or something, you certainly can't stay down. You have to get back up and keep fighting. And yeah, does it suck to get taken to the ground? Yeah. Does it suck keep having to keep get back up? Yeah. Is it psychologically fucking daunting when even you know your opponent's better than you at sparring or whatever? Yeah. Absolutely it is, but what do you do? You get back up and you keep going on that slim chance that you could win because a warrior fights to win. We don't fight to lose. We fight to win. And a lot of the time, it's good to take stock before you fight if you think you can win, all right? And sometimes it's a 50-50 shot. Sometimes it's a 40-50 shot. And a lot of the times, if you think that there's a higher percentage chance that you can win, then yeah, you know, okay, I will fight. And if you know there's a higher percentage chance of losing, well, then maybe you don't fight. Maybe you try to retrograde or retreat or whatever, right? I think retreat would be the, the, the right term. Like an executive protection, right? What do you do? You come across an ambush. You don't, well, you don't generally try to assault through that ambush. I mean, it's depending, I guess, but typically they teach you to get the fuck out of there, right? Like do a J turn and go or, you know, Y turn more like it, but my point with saying that is that you have to know before you go into something or even sometimes, well, let's just say it like this. Before you go into something, analyze what's going on here. What are my percentage chance of, of victory? All right. And that's a good thing. But once you've analyzed that, just go. All right. And if something gets in your way, just go through it. That's really the important part. And so when we take this into life, how do I apply this to my daily life? Well, I think I've just gone over this. Assault through whatever gets the fuck in your way. If you've already made up your mind that you're going to go after something and something gets in your way, don't let it. Knock it over. Jump over it. Assault through it. Right? And that's really important, especially nowadays. Your business is failing. Well, what's the percentage chance that you can make that business work? If it's higher than not, then keep going. Or maybe... It's a higher percentage that it won't work. Well, what do we do? Let's take a look at this ambush again, right? Maybe we have to pivot off, right? Before we can make it work. Maybe we have to take another angle. Maybe we have to take another approach and go around it a little bit before we can assault through it. Um, I hope that helps, guys. I hope it really does because there's a lot of like, you know, there's a lot of pain going on in the world right now. And my objective with making this video would be to let all of our warriors know who watch this channel and even some of the guys and girls who don't, hey, fucking keep going. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a pussy. 
if you're watching this channel, you're more than likely a warrior. So keep going and assault through your problems. Guys, if you like what we do here, you can join the channel. Three bucks a month for start. I'm not going to give you any more commercials than that. I hope that until next time, you realize and remember that you are your first and last line of defense. But don't be a bitch. I'll see you in the next video.